Yo, Bibsensor here. Today we're going to be making a very simple transition. And here's what it looks like. My hands, yo, this blood is on my this is where we're going to be making the transition. Go to video effects and look for blur more curve. You will need the fire plugin for this. Just drag the default one and copy these settings down. So we're going to be working with Z distance. All right, now we're going to be working with the zoom transition. So click on those little clock thing. And now we are going to be doing some keyframing, basically animating. So you can copy whatever I'm doing, the value I'm putting on the screen you can see, or you can just do whatever you want. But if you want to copy me, go ahead, feel free to do so. And here's what the video looks like. It is kind of lagging because I'm recording, so bear with me. Once you're done, go to video effects and search for shake. You can use shake or dissolve shake, don't really matter, but I'm using dissolve shake and put it before blur more curves or else it's gonna look weird. Now just copy these settings down. Let's play this. That looks okay. I'm gonna add a little more blur. I'm cool the way it looks right now. If you're not, just mess around with the settings till you're satisfied. And now the most important part, we're going to be keyframing it or animating it. Click on the little clock icon and we're gonna be adding some keyframes and then we will be adjusting. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to change this to fast. So one last thing I like to add is the fisheye, which is a uh, pretty cool. I almost use it every time I make edits. So just drag it and here's the settings. Here's the preview. It looks like it, it is stuck, but we're going to be animating it. So one last time, we're going to be animating this just like this. Boom. And you're done. But if you're still watching this video, I want to show you a real cool trick. Let's say you want to use the same transition on your next clip, but you don't want to make this again all over. So here's what you do. Go to the clip that has the transition and right click, copy it, then find the clip that you want to paste it to and right click it selectively paste event attribute check mark video event effect and effects keyframe click okay and you're done i got a free preset pack for you you can go download it right now in the description below but if you want to know how i make amv click on this video god did god did